if anyone in this theater commits an act of violence at any point during the show, you will be awarded the Oscar for Best Actor <laughs> and permitted to give a 19 minute long speech. Y'all, things just got super interesting at the Oscars, and I'm not talking about the nominees or the wins, but guess who wasn't at the Oscars this year? Yep, Will Smith. But even though he wasn't there physically, his presence was definitely felt as Jimmy Kimmel went all in on his Oscar slap. I mean, Jimmy left no stone unturned when it came to roasting our man Will, and to be honest, it was downright hilarious. Did you hear what he said about the slap drama? Stay tuned with us because that's exactly what we're going to be digging into today. But before we get into it, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to never miss out on any new videos. The 95th Academy Awards ceremony started off with a bang at the Dolby Theater in Los Angeles on Monday. And you know what they say, no award show is complete without a bit of drama. Host Jimmy Kimmel definitely didn't hold back when it came to addressing last year's incident, Will Smith's Oscar slap. He knew that everyone was waiting for him to address it, so he started the event by cracking a few jokes. We uh, want you to have fun, we want you to feel safe, and most importantly, we want me to feel safe. Kimmel had hinted before that he was going to talk about it, and boy did he deliver. So we have strict policies in place. If anyone in this theater commits an act of violence at any point during the show, you will be awarded the Oscar for Best Actor <laughs> and permitted to give a 19-minute long speech. Can you imagine? That would be a wild ride. But in all seriousness, Kimmel made it clear that the Academy had a crisis team in place and that they wanted everyone to feel safe and have fun. He even suggested, If anything unpredictable or violent happens during the ceremony, just do what you did last year. Nothing. <laughs> Sit there and do absolutely nothing. Maybe even give the assailant a hug. Now, that's definitely a unique approach to handling a violent situation, but you can't fault the guy for trying to lighten the mood and keep everyone calm. After joking about the potential for violence in the 95th Academy Awards ceremony, host Jimmy Kimmel had a light bulb moment. He thought, who could protect me if things got really crazy? And being the funny guy that he is, he didn't just call out any ordinary bodyguards. No, 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 he named some of the toughest fictional characters out there. First up, he mentioned Adonis Creed, played by the incredibly ripped Michael B. Jordan. I mean, have you seen those muscles? You wouldn't want to mess with him. Then he moved on to the Mandalorian, portrayed by the equally tough Pedro Pascal. This guy wears full body armor and has some serious fighting skills, so you definitely wouldn't want to pick a fight with him. But Kimmel wasn't done yet. He had one more name up his sleeve, Spider-Man. Specifically, he mentioned Andrew Garfield's portrayal of the web-slinging hero. Now, Spider-Man may not be as big or as burly as Adonis Creed or the Mandalorian, but he's got some serious agility and quick reflexes. Plus, he can climb up walls, so he'd be able to protect Kimmel from any danger coming from above. Overall, it seems like Kimmel was just having some fun and trying to lighten the mood. But hey, you never know, maybe he'll actually get some protection from these fictional characters if things get wild at the Oscars. He said, And if any of you get mad at a joke and decide you want to come up here and get jiggy with it, it's not going to be easy. There are a few of my friends you're going to have to get through first. You're going to get, have to get through the heavyweight champ, Adonis Creed, before you get to me. You're going to have to do battle with Michelle Yeoh before you get to me. You're going to have to tangle with Spider-Man. You are going to have to... You are going to have to tangle with Fableman. And then you're gonna have to go through my right hand man, Guillermo, if you wanna get up to this thing. Oh, wait a minute. No. Mr. Chris Rock, please take some notes. That's how you do respectable, not over the line comedy. And that wasn't even all of it. Kimmel had a lot of other jokes too, and they were absolutely hilarious. For instance, during the show at one point, the camera cut away from Jimmy to show Kimmel's late night TV show sidekick, Guillermo. Kimmel couldn't resist making a joke about him, saying, I know he's cute, but make no mistake, you even so much as wave at me, that sweet little man will beat the Lydia Tar out of you. But that wasn't the only joke Kimmel made at the ceremony either. When inviting guests to the stage, he couldn't help but make a reference to Will Smith's rumored Oscar slap. Hopefully this time it goes off without a hitch, or at least without hitch. Please put your hands together <laughs> and then keep them to yourself for Oscar winners Riz Ahmed and Amir Questlove Thompson. I mean, come on, that's just funny. And he 
he didn't stop there. Even when giving out the award for a documentary short, he managed to sneak in another reference to the Will Smith incident, saying, This point in the show kind of makes you miss the slapping a little, right? I'm sure some people were thinking the same thing. Finally, at the end of the show, a board was seen with the words, Number of Oscars telecasts without incident, one. It was a funny way to end the night and acknowledge the rumors surrounding the show. All in all, it was a pretty entertaining ceremony. Did you know that he had a quirky remark at the end too that left fans at home rolling on the floor? So towards the end of the show, just after the movie Everything Everywhere All at Once won the Best Picture Award, Jimmy Kimmel, the host, decided to add a bit of humor to his closing remarks. He made a playful comment saying, Great work, crisis team! Which drew a round of laughter from the audience. It's always fun to see comedians throw in some lighthearted jabs at the end of an event, especially one as prestigious as an awards ceremony. It's clear that Kimmel was trying to bring a smile to everyone's faces before the show came to a close. Overall, it was a great night for the entertainment industry, and the movie that took home the biggest prize was definitely deserving of the recognition. What a memorable moment to end the evening on! However, we can only imagine how Will must be feeling about all of this. I mean, it's more than a year and he still cannot shrug the scandal away. First, it was the media and the fans speculating about the slap. Then there were people bashing him left, right, and center for doing what he did. And then just recently, Chris Rock himself had his big moment when he slammed not just Will, but his whole family. I mean, did you get a look at what he said? During his highly anticipated comedy special on Saturday, Chris Rock took a shot at Hollywood power couple Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith while addressing the infamous slap at last year's Oscar ceremony. The 58-year-old comedian didn't hold back as he roasted Smith over the moment in Netflix's first ever live global streaming event. Rock went on an extended riff towards the end of the 70 minute special and accused Will Smith practices selective outrage. He made a rather bold statement, saying, Because everybody knows what the f happened, before diving into Smith's well publicized marital issues. But that wasn't all. Rock also took aim at Jada Pinkett Smith and her affair with her son's friend. He quipped, His wife was fing her son's friend. Okay? Now, I normally would not talk about this shit, but for some reason these put that shit on the internet. The comedian then touched upon the topic of infidelity and how it's something that everyone has experienced at some point in their lives. That we all been cheated on. Everybody in here have been cheated on. None of us have ever been interviewed by the person that cheated on us on television. She hurt him way more than he hurt me. Towards the end of the show, Chris Rock also revealed that he's been asked about why he didn't fight back. He then shared some wise words that his parents had instilled in him, saying, I got parents! And you know what my parents taught me? Don't fight in front of white people! <laughs> All in all, it was a night full of laughs and some rather controversial statements from Chris Rock. It's clear that the comedian wasn't afraid to push the limits a little to get his point across. And to be honest, I don't blame him. I mean, the man did take a slap on an international stage in a very civilized manner, and he kept quiet about it for way too long. His anger and frustration was bound to come out sooner than later, and it did. All in all, it was pretty chaotic, and I think things are about to get even messier now once Jada and Will speak out about all of this. I mean, those two are pretty vocal about stuff, and you can definitely expect some chaos from their end, too. Stay tuned for our next video to see what they had to say. What do you think of the entire scenario? Comment down below and let us know! And if you liked this video, click the subscribe and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my next video. I post updates like this every week where I uncover the secrets of your favorite celebrities.